Hey, y'all. How's your mom and them doing? Well, bless her heart. I bet you're thinking, why does she just say, isn't this channel about real estate? Well, today we're talking about a conversation that actually inspired this video. And yeah, it is indirectly related to real estate because it's all about a part of our Southern culture here in Southeastern North Carolina that you may hate or you may love. So if you're ready, let's go. If we're just now meeting, my name is Sue Singleton, and I'm a realtor at Coa Banker, Seacoast Advantage here in beautiful Southeastern North Carolina. Now, you can probably tell by my accent that, well, I'm a Southern girl. Actually, it's very common for Southern accents and Southern sayings to often come up when I'm talking to folks interested in moving to the area. A couple of days ago, someone actually asked me if I was originally from Texas. Hey, I like Texas. That's okay, but that was the first time anyone has ever asked me that. Hit me in the comment section below and let me know what do you think. Do I sound Texan? I'll answer that question for you a little bit later in the video. Now, I find that Southern accents and Southern sayings really don't bother most folks, but just giving you a heads up here. If you don't like Southern accents and you don't like Southern sayings, well, this might not be the very best place for you. Just saying. Okay, so I'm having a little bit of fun with that, but in all honesty, if Southern accents and Southern um, sayings are not your thing, then you may just really want to consider if moving to an area where that's very prominent is a good thing for you. So let's go back to the conversation with the buyer that thought I was from Texas. And by the way, not that it matters, the buyer's from Connecticut and is not accustomed to many of our Southern sayings, but is familiar with the, this particular one we're going to talk about today. Now, if you have spent any time here in my neck of the woods, then odds are you have heard someone say, bless your heart. So I'm assured. It's a phrase that's not just common here in southeastern North Carolina, but is commonly used across the whole state and really throughout the whole portion of the southern United States. Now, someone even told me not long ago that they actually heard people saying it when they were visiting out in the Midwest. Okay, so I'm going to fast forward the conversation to where the buyer was telling me about some life events that had impacted his decision to move to the Oak Island Southport area, to which I replied, oh, bless your heart. He gave me the strangest look and he said a little harshly, excuse me, with this quizzical look on his face, actually. Now, I won't go through our whole conversation, but I will say that he first thought because of the infamous meaning associated with the saying, bless your heart, that, that I was offering dubious sincerity, which I wasn't. I was being very sincere. And we laughed and we talked about Southern culture, and he finally ended up starting referring to me as a Southern belle, which I don't think I'm really the Southern belle type either. What do you think? Am I a Southern Belle? Huh. Comment below and let me know. Sorry about that. I digress sometimes. So that conversation is what inspired this video. And even though this video isn't directly related to real estate, it is culturally related to our area here in Southeastern North Carolina. Having been born and raised here in Southeastern North Carolina, nope, I'm not from Texas. I embrace being Southern. Yes, even the Southern accent. Southeastern North Carolina is a wonderful place to live and to raise a family. But that conversation really got me thinking about how folks looking to move to the area may perceive the meaning of such sayings as bless your heart. Now, I want to encourage you to stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to give you a list of some common Southern sayings that you might actually hear some of our local folks say, and you don't want to miss that for sure. But for now, we're going to talk about bless your heart. There are two common definitions of bless your heart. Now, the first one is the one that I was using when I was talking with the buyer from Connecticut, and that is an expression most commonly used to express genuine sympathy. Now, the other definition, which is the more infamous one, is a precursor to an insult to soften the blow or when you're going to say something not really nice. 
Now, I read somewhere once that bless your heart was considered to be everybody's cutesy expression from the South. But truly, for the most part, people really don't use it as a zinger phrase. That is, unless you're a member of my family, and then it really is a catty zinger. But for most of us, it still resonates and is used as an expression of concern or sympathy. But now do keep in mind that although it can be spoken with the sweetest of intent, it can be a Southern way of politely dismissing someone. It's really more about the delivery, such as the, the tone of voice, the facial expression, even the hand and the head movements that can leave no doubt about what a person may really be thinking. As promised, here are a few words and phrases that you might just hear while in southeastern North Carolina. And if you're thinking about moving to coastal Carolina or anywhere else in southeastern North Carolina, well, you never know. You just might find yourself saying a few of these old phrases, too. So here's a few that, that I'm most familiar with. All over creation. Amongst us. Bubba. Butter wouldn't melt in his mouth. It's Caddy Wampus, a commode stool, kind of shine, fixing to, folks, get shed of it, get out with it, Hank, hissy fit, you reckon, in short rows now, such as they are, look at them tater ridges, and of course, the most famous one that we probably all know is y'all. So listen, how about commenting below with your own Southern expression? I'd love to hear from you. So whether you're looking to upgrade to a home that would better suit your lifestyle or looking to purchase your first home, let's connect so you can stay updated on what's happening along the Carolina coast and in all of Southeastern North Carolina. Please feel free to reach out by phone, text, or email. And if you haven't already, I would appreciate you hitting the subscribe button below, like and share this video, and leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And remember, happiness grows here. I'll talk to you next time.